Using light objects. The level editor's lighting rendering option makes contours and shapes more obvious by deepening shadows. Turning lighting off can sometimes help you see an object's shape more clearly. However, sometimes you want to illuminate a scene with a specific kind of light from a specific direction. You can use light objects to achieve many lighting effects. From the palette window, you can place three kinds of local light sources. A directional light, a box light, directional light source limited to its boundary, and a point light, an omnidirectional light source limited to its boundary. You can place a directional light source anywhere in the world. The placement of the light object does not affect the light that it provides. Instead, to specify the direction of the light source, you modify the directional light object's direction property values. You can specify positive or negative values. You can also specify the color of the light by setting the light object's ambient, diffuse, and specular properties. The ambient property specifies the color of the light from the source. The diffuse property specifies the color of multidirectional reflected light, and the specular property specifies the color of monodirectional directly reflected light. For natural light, use values that specify a gray color. The light object itself does not need to be visible within the world. After you set its properties, you can deselect its visibility checkbox. The light that it provides is still visible within the world. The box light object is useful for illuminating a regular square area or cubic volume. Unlike a directional light, position is important for the box light. You will probably also want to scale the box light to fit the area. You can specify how bright the box light is within its boundary by setting its attenuation property values. Attenuation specifies how far the light can travel before it is attenuated or loses intensity. Small values mean that the light doesn't travel far within the boundary, whereas large values will completely fill the boundary area. You can use positive values for light or negative values for darkness. The direction, ambient, diffuse, and specular properties of a box light work exactly the same as for the directional light. And as with the directional light, a box light object itself does not need to be visible within the world. The point light object is like the box light, but it shines light in all directions. Just as with the box light, a point light's position is important. But you generally won't have to scale the point light. Instead, use its range property to specify how far the light can travel within the world. As with the box light, you can specify how bright the point light is by setting its attenuation property values. The ambient, diffuse, specular, and visibility properties of a point light work exactly the same as for the directional light and the box light. 